uh, you know, the ego blocks perspective and, and you know makes us self-centered. I think you spoke about it in, in the month of Cheshvan. The 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 work is to really fight the snake consciousness, which is falling into depression and being self-centered. Talk about the snake consciousness. This is a very big topic, but I would just say that the the snake in the Torah, the, the way the Torah describes the snake, is that it's an external voice. There's like an inner voice of, that Adam has and the Chava have, and then there's an external voice. And the snake represents the external voice. The external voice is the world of fantasy and imagination. Mm -hmm. And it's something that's it's layered over in, onto our consciousness. It's not actually something we think about. It's not created from within ourselves. That's, that's a redemptive consciousness. That's a redemptive imagination. But an unredeemed imagination is you are bombarded continuously with subliminal messages, continuously. Like just walking down the street, you're hearing things, you're seeing things, and that creates a certain narrative to you. And then you live in that place, that snake consciousness. And that's why it's full of fear and uncertainties and worry and anxieties, because this was not something that's coming from the inner core. Beautiful. This was created.